All right, folks, listen, it's very early, and I'm getting ready to head to the Pratt Pack gym to get a workout in. I got a story for you, though, okay? You see this? Former Beaver County Commissioner Joe Spanik got this for me, and I gave it to my son. It's from my father and grandfather and godfather, and many cousins worked for decades. It is now the future home of the Shell Petrochemical Plant, and my dad would be tickled to death, as they all would, about the billions that are going to be put into our region. But I got to tell you a quick story. This is from... Norm Candelore, Jr., Frank, Bill Saris, that family that started it in their home in Cannonsburg many years ago. Look, you cannot duplicate what they do. The Easter Bunny, meaning Peter Cottontail, would have some big biceps if he was lifting this every day down the bunny trail. But all sorts of great novelties, obviously, and their chocolate second to none. And as you look, you got your foiled eggs, which it wouldn't be Easter without those. And at the bottom of the grass, of course, your jelly beans, but they put them on top to make it easy, right? So the year, I'm not so sure, late 60s, I wasn't even 10 yet. My father had to work a year of shifts as he made his transition up the ranks. And one of those happened to be the 11 to 7 shift, and it was Easter Eve, and there were six of us. So my mother would always wait for us to hop into bed, and then she would hop into action and hide her Easter baskets. But needless to say, we weren't going to sleep because my father was gone and she was getting tired. I swear we were all together that night and somehow, miraculously, those baskets still got put in place. Those are memories that you don't forget. And I promise with every single morsel, you will never forget this tradition that started many years ago. And they continue to do it the very same way today. All made from scratch. Incredible product. You can pick it up at one of your nine neighborhood Coons markets. The cat, by the way, stays here, okay? <laughs> But when it comes to their candy, listen, coonsmarket.com or make a trip. They're going to be open for business today down in Cannonsburg. And it really has become, and rightfully so, a Western Pennsylvania Easter tradition. Isn't that right, Patch? Happy Easter, everybody.